You're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Uh, we're talking about how small improvements to your smile can make a big difference, not only in how people react to you, but how you feel about yourself. It could be a big boost to your self-esteem. With us, we have an expert on the topic. We've had him on the program before. He is the go-to person in Bakersfield when you want a beautiful smile, Dr. Ken Krauss. Dr. Krauss, welcome to the program. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here, Randy, thank you. Now, for people that don't know your practice, um, you know, I looked at your website, and we've had you on the show before. Right. You do a lot of things. Yes, we do. So, so what are the different services you offer? A lot of what we do is general dentistry, okay. and, um, which is the foundation. And above and beyond that, we do uh, quite a bit of teeth whitening, um, veneers. Um, a, big, a big part of our practice is periodontal. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that the patients have healthy gums. And... Uh, and then we use laser. We uh, utilize a laser in a lot of what we do. Um, are you gum are you using the uh, laser a lot more now than you than you did five years ago when I had you on yes, the show? Yes. Yes. And, and uh, so how so? Like what's a like a procedure you use a laser on? Well, the big benefit to the, with the laser is especially when it comes to soft tissue. Okay. And uh, is it has a wonderful effect on the tissue. It is superb compared to any other technique before it. I don't know if there'll be any. Like how's it good to the tissue? I, I don't understand this. Well, <clears throat> the laser is actually known to have what they call a, I'm gonna throw a word out here, but it, actually <laughs> a, a biostimulatory effect. In other words, the body actually responds to it. So we can actually do it, you know, when we're, we're doing work and we use the laser to maybe to change the gums, maybe for a patient, the gum might not be even. Like uneven gums. Uneven gums, and we can straighten that up and, and even it out. And it's almost like instantaneous. The healing time is, is um, very short. So normally those would be cut. In with the past, the they, would, they would either cut it mechanically with a scalpel or they would use an electrical device to cut it. And um, the laser is just awesome. I can't say enough about it. So you it's, use it a lot. Like every day you use it? Um, sometimes, just, you know, things go in cycles. It depends on the situation. It depends on what you have to do, but it's just a great, um, it's a great tool, you know, to help us in achieving, you know, the desired results. So you do general dentistry, like family dentistry? We do, we do family. I would say family and cosmetic dentistry uh, okay. is the way I would label our practice. Now, uh, you know, visiting your website, mm -hmm. yes. boom, right there. I thought it was like dent, like clip art, but it's it's your family. I mean, you have six, six children. children. Mm -hmm. Any dentist yet? Uh, no, no dentist yet because they're all too young. <laughs> <laughs> Do they want to be a dentist? I think I asked. You, you. know, I, I think there's a couple of them that talk about it, but uh, you know, they're young and and I don't think they're thinking about that yet. You say, or you didn't say it. I mm -hmm. said it at the top of the show. Small improvements can make a big difference. Elaborate oh. on that. Oh boy. So, um, for example, somebody who is concerned about the shade, I mean, the shade of their teeth. So something as simple as a whitening, you know, or something. Is that your number one most popular procedure, whitening? I would say it's probably the most common. Okay. All right, if you want to look at it from the standpoint of numbers, there's probably more, you know, whitening done. Um, for example, you know, somebody who, a, a really typical one is somebody who's just had ortho, okay? Ortho meaning they've just had their teeth straightened. Mm -hmm. and and because uh, maybe before their teeth, uh, maybe before their teeth were straight, they were, um, their teeth were in a position where they were wearing funny. So now they've straightened their teeth, and now they have these funny wear patterns. So sometimes all it takes is just just a slight adjustment of the edges of the teeth. Like contouring? Perfect. Just a little bit of contouring, okay? And then whitening their teeth, you know, because they've had the brackets on there, you know, on their teeth for a while. And so these aren't big things, but these are little tiny things that make a big difference. Another one is, for example, we mentioned earlier the laser. So again, a patient who's, who's been in braces for a while, they've kind of got a gum problem that's developed. Like uneven gums. Like uneven gums, or maybe their gums got a little bit overgrown, you know, while they had the braces on. Um, that can be resolved, you know, with the laser. And even everything out, you know, just a little. And, and, and we're talking about these are not, these are not, uh, it, expensive. These are affordable things, but they make a big difference. I mean, you you notice a difference? Oh, for sure. Like so, from the first time you meet them to after you fix their teeth? Oh, for sure. Not only not only do I notice it, but 
my staff also notice it and they'll they'll tell me things and they'll make comments like they'll say you know so and so we can see now that they just seem they seem different they seem upbeat maybe they carry themselves differently they just seem to maybe pay a little more attention to themselves maybe about how they like dressing uh, better maybe like dressing that? better and uh, maybe just just you just notice these little things okay and uh, and so we've noticed that a lot and but not just that you know depending on the patient they will express that and they will say yes this is you know there's a big difference now I mean I, I mean I have a, you know some of these these people will give you a hug and they you know they you get some tears not everybody but okay. you get some you get some tears from people because they can't believe what a difference. So when they look in the mirror. Oh, well, you've you got to figure some of these folks have been like this, you know, have been dealing with this for years. All right. And, um, I mean, it, it kind of heart-wrenching. Like, for example, a gal, you know, we're saying, like, her grandchildren, for example, were like, you know, Grandma, you know, what's, what's wrong with your teeth? And uh, um, we don't think about that or necessarily relate to that all right and uh but for them they're like really concerned you know what are my grand what are my grandchildren you know, you know what kind of example am i setting for them you know what kind of role model am i for them and uh and that's a big deal you know for those people um, i know a lot of times we're thinking of from the standpoint of you know what does the opposite sex think yeah, you know, uh, like to become more attractive. Yeah, to become more, more attractive. That. Oh, yeah, because you know, um, a lot of people will say, "Oh, yeah, for sure." So a lot of people will say, "You know, I took care of my, you know, I took care of my kids. You know, I made sure they were taken care of all these years, and now my kids are saying, hey, mom, we, you know, or dad, we know that you made sacrifices for us. But go and get taken care of.' And sometimes, you know, a parent, somebody who's really devoted." You know, they have a hard time, you know. They want to do something about it, but just taking that step to get in there and... and so are the patients getting older and older or younger and younger for, like, smile makeovers or improvements of the smile? Um, what do you see? Any kind of a trend there? I really can't say that I, that I see a trend because I see people of all ages. I think, by and large, we've always seen patients who are maybe what you consider to be middle-aged. So people watching this, and there's a right. lot of patients that are not attached to a dentist. They haven't been to the dentist in two or five years, right. you say. So be, and, and one of the things I like about you, and people need to know it's a real, real interview, I'm not endorsing you, but we've right. talked on the phone, right. is that you wanted people to know it's about options. Right. That, that you're going to give people mm -hmm. an affordable option, mm -hmm. kind of a medium, mm -hmm. let people know their options. You're going to meet them where they are in right. a way. You know, and in, in addition to that, we'll, we'll get a lot of people, and, and I, I don't want to offend anybody by this, but some people will come to me and say, I need to get this taken care of, but then when I'm done, I'm going to go back to my regular dentist. And then I said, oh. They well, go to you because of the cosmetic? Because they want, yeah. you're known they, for that. Because they feel like that I can do something for them. And I don't, and sometimes they're open about it with their, whoever they're seeing, <laughs> and, and there isn't really any... Um, I don't think there's any hard feelings, but, uh, um, and then I, I'll, I'll joke with them and say, okay, so am I the irregular dentist then, you know, <laughs> you got your regular dentist. That's nice. So yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess you are my irregular dentist here, Dr. Krauss. You're going to help me solve this thing. And just so you know, you know, I, I like my, I like the guy or gal or whoever it was I'm seeing, but I feel like for this. So when people want a pretty smile, they go to you. That, That's I, I, kind of the reputation? I think if they were wise, they would. <laughs> I mean, honestly, because, um, and that, that's going to sound, that's going to come across sounding a little arrogant. But the reality is, is that we know how to do it. And we do all the general dentistry tough stuff too. We do. We, we do have that. a complete hygiene department. We, we do all of that. But I mean, we have a lot, we have a number of people who come to us because they want to have something done that they don't feel like their general okay. dentist can do and they and it's an understanding between them and I that they're going to come get this done and say you know but Dr. Krauss I've known this person for 30 years <laughs> and so they want to maintain both relationships well, that's nice. that's so nice. there's no pressure good good okay so they you know in those circumstances there's no pressure I'll, and there are obviously are some people that feel 
compelled. Then they go back to their general dentist, and the general dentist says, why do your teeth look so good? And then they feel <laughs> guilty. Did you go to Dr. Krause? Well, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, you know, and then, uh, and then there are those circumstances, um, and I think, um, I think we've talked about this before, where um, somebody will go to, uh, to visit somebody, or go to visit a dentist or the dentist they've been going to, and they bring a concern to their attention. And, and they don't really get shot down, but they kind of do like, well, that's okay. You know, that shouldn't bother you. You're okay. But the thing is, is that the problem is still there. So still, if it bothers the patient, it's still nagging you could do something about it. Well, for example, a real problem, somebody who maybe has that, you know, has the, the, I call it the, the Madonna gap. You know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. No, uh, well, Madonna, she has that gap between her front teeth. A little gap. In the That's middle. her signature, all right? She's fine with that. Some people are bothered by that, all right? So they might say, hey, you know, what can I do about this? Oh, you know, you're fine. Don't worry about that. But if it bothers them, it's not going to go away, all right? It's going to nag them, okay? And sometimes they might go somewhere and they're just told, Oh, you know, you shouldn't worry about You're that. You're fine. You're fine. I know somebody You're okay. like that. I just saved you money. I think that's an uncaring dentist. I, I really the do, The dentist too. cares about what they think rather than what the patient thinks. Right. They're not asking the right questions, and they're not really trying to be empathetic or sympathetic and look at it from their point of view. And maybe I would stop and say, well, you know, tell me, Mary, why does that? Why does that bother you? And then they'll tell you. And then talk to me about it. All right, and then we can think about it and we can come up with possibilities and options and discuss it. But don't just simply say, whitewash it and say, oh, you know, don't worry about it, you're okay, because I say you're okay. All right, Good. because now it's my, now I'm uh, placing my standards or, or my ideals, all right, supersede yours. Okay, and, uh, and what I want, as I mentioned earlier, as we were in the interview, is I want to bring out of the patient, I want to get their concerns. I want to know what they're thinking. Now, we are running out of time. So you brought some photos. And I did. These are good photos. They are. So what are we looking at? Well, we have a selection of a few patients okay. here. And uh, we have befores and afters. And if you want, I can just uh, take a look. Okay, what's going on here? This is Emmy, Emmy Lou. Did you make up that name for the show, by the way? No, actually, that's her name. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> that's, okay. A, that's her name. Good name. Okay. All right. It, it is a nice her. name. It fits her very well. If you were to look at that smile right now, okay, you're just the objective observer. Yeah. What would you say you don't like about that well, smile? Well, it doesn't look good because it's pulled back. That's for sure. Okay. I mean, none of this looks good at all. Now, the reason why, but, the reason why yeah. and this is part of the evaluation, I mean, we take a lot of photographs. Yeah. I mean, my IT guy that you know, takes care of all our computing, says, I take more photographs than anybody he knows. Okay. Like, we have storage space problems on a computer because we take a lot of pictures. And this is the picture we but use. this looks like a good smile to me, to answer your question, even though it doesn't look good to me because like it's pulled from, back. From your, your first impulse when you look at it, you say, that's an okay smile. Let's say it's nice teeth. But she was not happy with some things. Now, and that's the bottom line. And then when you start to analyze it, you start to see what she's talking about. Like what? Well, for example, if you look at her two front teeth, mm -hmm. the gums are not even. So the gums above her two front teeth. And okay. Then, and then if you look at her teeth that are next to the, the two front teeth. On the top right of her smile. Right. So one of those is a crown that really doesn't, that she had, for, it's been there for a long time, that doesn't really look right. It doesn't fit in. And the other tooth is pushed in and is discolored. So it goes back a little bit. Right. That's a small thing, though. No, it's not. It's a big thing for her. <laughs> okay, okay, good. All right, yeah. and the thing is, is that she didn't like the way like, her two front teeth were really big and that her other teeth were like, to her, were kind of small. Okay. All right, and then her canines, well, the canines are the, these teeth right here at the mm -hmm. corners. Those teeth, like compared to her front teeth, looked odd to her. So what'd you do? So we redid her upper arch with porcelain fused to zirconium crowns, okay. which, are, which look beautiful but they're very strong, very durable. They look good and they look natural. So this is her after? This is her. Wow. Yeah. Doesn't that look great? That is very nice. Yeah. Nice smile. You can't see her gums there, but you, you leveled out her gums? Her gums look beautiful. Everything turned out fantastic. She loves it, right? And uh, this is something that she, she was dealing with these problems, you know, all of her adult life, and now she feels like she's 
know, she can smile uninhibited. Okay. All right. All right. So this next gentleman, this is Steve. Okay. All right. Great guy. Great personality. Likes to laugh. Likes to talk and smile. But he definitely, definitely had forgotten how to smile. And uh, so he was self-conscious over that one tooth. Extreme. Well. Yeah, that tooth, but also his teeth were chipping and cracking and were discolored and were out of alignment. The other thing to notice is if you look at his teeth compared to his lip line, the teeth were very uneven compared the to the lower lips. lip line. Yeah, okay. Right, the lower lip line, because ideally we want those teeth to follow that. Okay? We want the teeth to be symmetrical. We want them, we want them to um, you know, be even you know, all the way across and follow the midline and to follow those lips so they look natural. Midlines? Right Midline meaning the middle of your face. Okay. All right? All of us, you know, may have a tendency for our teeth to be off one side or the other. These are the little tiny things that you pay attention to to make sure they're taken care creates of. Creates a good looking smile. To, yeah, it creates So what do you do? What do you do for him? Like when you see this, do you say that this is going to be good? In, in your mind? Right. It, yes. I, I knew the outcome was going to be great. So in this case, we, um, we also use porcelain crowns and okay. veneers. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. So if you look at the befores and afters of, of Steve, mm -hmm. so if you look at the before, you're going to have judgments about you know, who he is based on his smile. If you look at the afters, look at him, he looks. You have judgments there too. Yeah, and the judgments are he's got a sexy smile. He looks smart. <laughs> That's right. true. He looks like he takes care of himself, even though... Well, he looks educated. He looks like a professional. Right, even though I know he was all of those things already because I, because I knew him. But now the perception is that people have that he is those things when they see him because of that. And he's not going to be self-conscious about hiding a smile. And these porcelains, by the way, they don't stain really? No, they don't stain. Well, they... They can, but you really have to abuse them to stain, and they, they clean they up stay nice. pretty this good. Is, this is good material, excellent material. Okay. All right. This next one is Brenda. So, Randy, what I want you to look at here with Brenda is, look how she's forcing her smile, and notice how her teeth are chipped, and also how her chipped at the bottom, yeah. Chipped, but they also don't follow, they also don't follow her lip line. And the other one, too, that goes along with this, this is the retracted view, but she also had a, she was very conscious because she had these abrasions up at the gum line. So if you look at the gum line, see how the teeth are all abraded right there and worn right at the gums? Okay. Okay, and also look at how her teeth are shaped, how they have like a, a bell shaped and there's like gaps in between her teeth. So we were able to take care of all of that, straighten her smile line, get rid of all the chips. Very nice. All right, and so she has a beautiful smile that matches who she is. Beautiful woman, she has a I mean, that's a big smile. change, by the way. That is a big change. And she was very appreciative. And, um, and she realizes that, uh, you know, I, I, well, I know she's very happy with it. And I know she realizes she, that she probably wasn't going to find too many people that could do it the way we did. And by the way, you know, I have to, I have to tell you, mm -hmm. um, I feel like I could spot veneers walking down the street. Mm -hmm. They always look big and bulky. Right. And I also said I'm not here to endorse you or try to side with you. I understand. But these look pretty natural. Or they not do. even pretty natural. They look natural. They do. We, we go to great lengths to avoid that very thing. I know exactly what you're talking I mean, about. It, I've seen like it the a thousand shows. times. Some of them have these big, huge teeth. Yes. I've seen is it a thousand times. Is that in the hands times. of the dentist? That is. So that's not a request by that's the That's not something they really want, but that's, that's really what's actually been delivered to them. And I, guess they, and I guess they just accepted it. All right. And they're... Does they, that frustrate you, by the way? Well, yeah, because it doesn't have to be that way. Okay. All right. It doesn't have to have that result. All right. That's, they may have been told, well, this is, you know, what you, this is what we can do. All right. And that's unacceptable to me. All right. Good. Okay. So this is Lana. Mm -hmm. All right. She, um, a little different on the other cases. All right. So in her case, she actually has an upper denture. Right, oh, but really? you can hardly tell. So all of her lower teeth were crowned really nicely, and um, so you fix the lower teeth with crowns. We took care of the lower teeth with crowns and got a nice, even, perfect bite, and then did some, you know, uh, what you'd call an aesthetic denture. So and like a cosmetic, good-looking. So it's a co so it's a cosmetic result. She's very pleased with it. It looks great. It works great. She can function. Function meaning what? 
means she can eat and smile and go places and do things and doesn't have to worry about it. And really, most people wouldn't even know that she had a denture the way it was done. Are, are, there, are there people that are, when this is done, they go, I should have done this years ago? I hear that all the time. Like, what do they say? They, oh, I've got one lady, she's 85 years old. In fact, she wrote a testimonial. Her name is Yvonne, and she said, and one of the, in her testimonial, she said, if I'd have known, I'd have done this 30 years ago. But I didn't know, obviously, I That's didn't interesting. Know. So 30 years of being insecure. Right. About a part of their body, I guess, mm -hmm. that they don't like. Mm -hmm. Get it done. Not liking, but the thing is, too, is that there's more to it than just having a, a nice smile. If, uh, if your teeth aren't, if they're out of alignment, it's unhealthy for your gums. I mean, I know we spend a lot of time talking about the psyche and how people feel, but it's also much healthier. It's healthier for you, all right? And in addition to that, isn't a, a happier person a healthier person too? Okay. So it all, goes, it all ties together, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Christy. So Christy had a situation I Interesting. I believe she had a, I don't, without going into detail, she had something affected two of her front teeth, and you can see it there. And so it's, I mean, one tooth is way up there. Yeah, and it's pretty obvious, you know, that, uh, that that's unacceptable and that you would be self-conscious about that. And we were able to take care of that and give her a beautiful smile. And we took the time with Chrissy to make sure you know, that we listened to her and it made sure we knew what her concerns were and were able to, to give her the results that she has there. Good. And uh, she loves it. This is Sandy. All right. And again, again, Sandy was very conscious about her smile. So did she, do a lot of these people, they don't even smile? Uh, Off she, she, they, they really, I mean, people get really skilled at being able to hide their smile. Okay, it's an, uh, like I said earlier, it's an unnatural act, but, you know, they just learn to hold their lip down, you know, cover it up. You know, when they do pictures, it's more, yeah. you know, this type of thing. So for her? So for her, uh, you can obviously see that she's missing some teeth in the front there. And uh, we did, in this case, cosmetic bridge. Right. I know implants... And, you know, I, like I do some implants as well. And this isn't about, this, this show is not about implants, but implants, there's a time and a place for them. And mm -hmm. there's still, you know, a, a well-made bridge in conjunction so with crowns. For are, affordability, et cetera. Well, not only that, but just sometimes it's the best thing to do in some situations. Okay. So you just, so I know a lot of people come in, they're missing a tooth and they say, oh, I want an implant there. Well, an implant isn't always the really? best way to go. Okay. Not always. So you have to judge the situation. You have to find out what the patient's wants and needs and, you know, whatever, and, uh, and come up with a scenario that is best for them that still works. That's a big improvement, by the way. That's a huge improvement. That is vast. And, um, well, that's, I mean, she doesn't even look like, I mean, it's a big difference in the looks. She's a, I mean, all of these people are beautiful people. Um, you know, I can't say anything negatively about their looks, but all I was doing was putting something, making something the way. So if you don't could, like your smile. It's the way it could have been and should have been. And do something it about it. I mean, I mean is, that, is that your feeling? I mean, look, if, if you're out there, you're watching this, you don't like your smile, small things can make a big difference. Like we said at the very, very beginning of the program. Small. And it doesn't even have to be expensive. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be expensive. I mean, obviously all of these are a little bit different, you know, and to anybody that's watching, you know, your situation is going to be unique and different from anybody else's. But there, I, I assure you, there isn't a, there isn't anything I haven't seen yet. All right, this is just a small sampling of what I've done and what we've seen. And so, so they're never of, too far gone. Oh no, a lot of people will come in and say, Dr. Krauss, you know, I'm embarrassed to show you, and I, and, and I said I understand, but just so you know, I've already seen somebody who's you know, not exactly the same because nobody is exactly the same, but very similar over and over and over again. And in most circumstances, you can usually, you know, size up the situation and come up with a solution rapidly and, um, and work, you know, towards some result Good. that they're pleased with that functions well 
that will last them for a long time. Good. Now, we are out of time. You've been yeah. on my program for about five years. Do, do people recognize you from the show? Do you ever yeah. get recognized? Sure. What do they yeah. say? Like out on the street or whatever? Are, are you that guy? Do they well, you know, you run into somebody and, uh, and, you know, and you get to talk with them. Oh, yeah, okay. You're Dr. Krause. All right. I've seen you before on TV. All right. <laughs> do they ask about me sometimes, by the way? Well, I'm you know, you know, you know that actually, that you know, it's it's funny that you mentioned that. But most everyone says, you know, that guy he does a good job. Dr. Cross, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Great right. stuff. Yes, it, great stuff. It was. I enjoyed it actually. And these photos are on your website. These are so recent; they're not there yet, but they will be. They're coming on. Yes. Okay. Good. This is this is new stuff. This All is right? hot off the press. This is hot off the press. I mean, we're trying to keep it. We're trying to keep it current. You know, we're we're, we're okay. doing. You know. Good. Yep. Good. So, uh, again, thanks again. We'll have you back talking about something else, I'm sure, in the near future. You got it. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you'd like to see this interview again, you just got 10 minutes. You can go to our website at wellnesshour.com and put in Dr. Krauss. For now, I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.